Hi everyone, welcome to Home PE with MSSP. It's Target Tuesday and today's challenge is called Feed the Rabbits. It will test your skill of accuracy and can be linked to a range of different throwing games. For this challenge, you will need five boxes or baskets for your rabbit hole targets. You will need five balls or rolled up pairs of socks for your rabbit food. And you'll need a starter marker. Don't worry if you don't have the exact items, you can use other things from around the house that you think will be suitable for this challenge, but be sure to get permission from your parent or the adult in charge at home first. The aim of the challenge is to feed the rabbits by throwing all the objects into the baskets. Set the boxes up in a straight line and aim for the nearest one first before progressing to the next. We've chosen to use an underarm throw. Be sure to remember your key technique points. Look at your target, point using your non-throwing arm, swing your throwing arm and release the object before you reach your pointing arm. Always make sure you stay safe when attempting the challenge. Give yourself enough space to play, start slowly and then build up your attempts and have an adult nearby to help. Now it's your turn. If you find it too tricky, make it easier for yourself. Focus on just one target to start with and move closer towards the target. If you find it too easy, challenge yourself more. Spread the targets out or use smaller targets. Move further away from the targets, use a different type of throw. Now can you progress your effort from your first go? Remember, if you keep practicing and persevere, you will get better. Stay determined, be resilient, always try your best. Once you've had a go, see if you can challenge your brother or sister or parent to take part. Set each other new scores to beat. Use another set of socks and see who feeds all the rabbit first. Work together, take it in turns and encourage your partner. Why not get creative? You can even try designing and testing your own activity based on today's challenge. Be sure to record your attempts each day on your tracker sheet and email it to your school on a Friday evening so they can keep a record each week. If your parents are happy to, you may even want to video and tweet us your challenge. We'd love to see how you're doing these at home and what ideas you have. We'll be awarding individual creativity awards for the top ideas. So finally, don't forget to encourage your school friends to take part too. The more people that get involved from your school, the more points you will all earn as a team. So good luck everybody, have fun and stay safe.